minutes. Here in this video, we'll see a problem on involute of a circle. For that, here is the question. Draw an involute of a circle of diameter 40 mm. So, first I'll draw the circle here. Diameter is 40, so radius 20. Drawing a light circle through it. Next, involute is that curve which is generated when a string is wound over the circle and after that, when we start unwounding that string and the curve which is generated will be called as the involute. In this case, it is given that draw an involute for a circle of diameter 40. So if we have a string, here the length of the string is not given. So I can say that whatever is the circumference of the circle, that will be the length of the string. So when I calculate that circumference, that is, therefore, pi d will be the circumference so pi into 40 it gives me an answer of 125.66 mm so here i'll measure that circumference one twenty five point six six mm next after reaching here this circle i'll divide it into 12 equal parts so that we have more points to draw the involute so each angle will be of 30 degree thirty and six Then I'll give the notations here. This will be point one, point two, three, four, point six, and in order. Similarly, here there is this circumference that circumference also needs to be divided into 12 equal parts for that here i'll explain the procedure the total circumference is having length of 125.66 mm for that here i'll go i'm going to measure an acute angle this angle i can take it as less than 45 degree means either it should be 15 20 or even 25 degree that is correct so here i will be dividing the circumference measuring 20 degree angle here this acute angle i have drawn then in the compass i'll take the distance as one centimeter that will be equal to one division now keeping that one centimeter distance over this angle i'll divide it into 12 parts so first division second third fourth fifth sixth seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so i have divided it into twelve equal parts next i'll connect the last division to the point where the circumference is ending then drawing parallel lines through these points so
so here also i'll give the notations like this will be point 1 here point 2 3 and in order now i'll start unwounding it from point number 12 next after that it means the string will be here then through all the points which i have got that is these divisions i am going to draw the tangent here for example here this 11th division is there through that i'll draw a tangent Next, after drawing this tangent, I'll measure the distance from point 12 to 11 because 12 is the reference for me. Keeping it on point number 11, I'm going to cut this. So, here I'm getting this fine point here on the tangent passing through 11 then i'll draw the tangent through point 10 so tangent through 10 next measuring the distance from 12 to 10 Keeping it on point number 10, cutting this line. So here I get a point. Then similarly, tangent through point 9. Next, I'll measure the distance from 12 up to 9 next drawing the tangent through point 8 then from 12 to 8 Tangent through point seven. Then twelve to seven. Keeping it on point seven. Getting a point here. Next tangent through point six. Marking the distance from twelve to six. Then tangent through five. Then twelve to five. Next through four. then from 12 to 4 
from 12 to 3 then 12 to 2 then at last tangent through point 0.1 12 to point number 1 then at last from 12 to 12 it means the curve will end here now here I'll give the notations to all the points where it is starting I'll call this as point P then here it is after P this will be I'll say point A then B C D and in order so I need to join all these points with the help of French curve so that I get the in volume first I'll be drawing this light so here I am joining all these points in proper sequence Then I'll make this in volume dark. Then I'll make this circle dark. After that, I'll give the dimensions. And remember, dimensions should be medium dark. the diameter of the circle 40 mm then the circumference pi d is equal to 125.66 in terms of mm <coughs> next I'll draw the center line so this curve is called as an in volume which is generated when we wound a string along a circular disc and when we are unwounding in that case we are getting this curve next I can even draw tangent to this curve so this is the tangent and then through one single point this has not been asked but still here I am showing this that how to draw the tangent and 
Norman. So this is perpendicular. So here we have the tangent and this is called as the normal. And with this the problem is completed.